guys, welcome back with our letter J. Today we're going to be looking at uh, Jeff Koons. Hopefully you enjoyed in our PowerPoint and our slideshow Jeff Koons artwork and his uh, balloon art. So Jeff Koon is our artist for the day. And with our letter J, we're going to be working today on our balloon dogs. So he became famous for this type of artwork and was an ex uh, a sculpture artist who created balloon dogs. So today we're going to go step by step to make our balloon dog. So I did ask for you to bring today um, your white paper and a drawing tool. You can use a black marker or you can use today a pencil. Okay, so our first step is to go ahead and start. Um, if you want to go tall or this way, it's up to you. But we are going to go towards the side of the paper here and we're going to go with the letter C. So right over here, you're going to make a C and that's going to be just a small C because that's going to be the end of the balloon um, where they would like tie the knot. So the balloon art um, on the end of the C, we're going to then make an oval. So this is the end of the nose for the balloon doll. So once you have those two steps there, you can make a little C inside the end of the balloon. And that's just where you would see like the knot tied for the end of the balloon. Okay, so the next step is to make the balloon head. So our dog balloon head is going to be a oval that's going to kind of come out. And it's just going to wrap from one side to the other. So your head size will be like an oval. Um, and then once you have that oval, you can add sort of a couple little lines. This will just be where like the knots of the balloon would be drawn and it's sort of just right on the edges of the nose. Okay, so we have that there. Okay, the next step is to draw the balloon ears. Now you can have tall ears or big ears. Um, we're gonna come up from the dog and we're gonna make one ear up here. It looks like a bunny's ear. And then we're gonna make one over here. So we have two, okay? And then as we're working on the next step, we're gonna draw the uh, legs next. So before we kind of get going with the body, I want you to make the legs next. So this leg is gonna kind of turn this way. So down here on the bottom, you can make an oval, maybe pointing towards the corner of your paper. So right here. So that's our oval right here, kind of going towards the corner of the paper or towards the bottom of the paper. Okay, because next we're gonna add the, uh, like the neck. So we're gonna come from this side right underneath of the chin, connect there to there with a line, and then it can curve because it's sort of like a balloon line, okay? The next step is to go around to the back side, okay? So we're gonna come from here and we're just gonna go down to the leg, okay? So we have uh, connected the head, and I'll give you a check second to catch up, the head, the leg, the nose, and we'll add all those glares and all the extra fun stuff uh, a little bit later, okay? So I have rolled my uh, paper in the back to make it sort of like a sculpture. Um, he doesn't stand very well because I just wanted to be able to hold him uh, in my hand. So I put a little tube on the back. I'll show you how to do that um, a little bit later, okay? So next step, we're gonna be working on the body. Oops, we gotta draw the other leg. So if you want this leg to come out or come down, it's up to you if your dog's walking. Um, that's up to you what you wanna do with the, the second leg. So I'm gonna put my second leg over here and you're just sort of copying that same shape. And then we're gonna add the body for the dog. So we'll add its body and we'll come around the back side here and just sort of come out with uh, another oval. And it's up to you about the size um, that you wanna make it. And then we have to add our two legs. Looking good, boys. All right, and our letter J again is Jeff Koontz. He's a uh, contemporary artist uh, who did lots of different artworks. And one of his popular ones was the balloon dog. And it was a sculpture that we looked at during our uh, PowerPoint today. So you were able to see some of his famous and he did them in all different colors, okay? So when you do the next legs, the legs could be down, they could be back. If I put one here and I make it sort of the same size as the other one, and then maybe I'm gonna put this one here as if it's like walking. 
So the legs, it's up to you how you want to create those legs. Uh, kind of reminds me now of a pinata or uh, something fun uh, like a gi giraffe or a bunny. Okay, so we're going to add the dog's tail. We're going to come up here and we'll add a little oval up here. It could be big or small. And then the balloon arts lots of the times have that little point at the end um, for the tail. So you can add that as well too. Okay, so the next step would be to highlight where the light would actually hit the balloon. Okay, and you can make some shapes. If you guys are ready to start coloring, you boys can start coloring yours. Okay, and that would glare, would come down on the top of the balloon right here. So around the face, on the ears because they're pointing up. So we're going to go up in that direction. Okay, and we'll put another one over here. And that's just where the light would hit a balloon because it's shiny and round. So on the neck here, we could put one going down. And you're just kind of copying the shape of the uh, balloon dog. So this one can go at an angle here, and then this one can come out here. And we're going to leave those white. So when you color them today, um, make sure that you leave those sections white. Okay, we'll put one on his backside. And then think about a name for your dog. If you'd like to give it a name, we will cut it out today and we'll add it onto um, a second sheet of paper. We'll put a little shine right there. Okay, so there's my shining marks. If you want to put it on every single uh, balloon, you can. If you would like to leave, um, you know, leave one off, you can. And then the next step is to color. Oh no, my marker. My marker has dried out. Try another one. We'll grab this purple and I've selected. Oh, what? let's do our show and tell real quick, boys. All right, so on our countdown, make sure that if you have your camera on, share it with your uh, class. And if you can turn your camera on, please do that. We're gonna do our countdown. All right, we got it in three, two, one, show. All right, let's see what we have so far. Oh, we got two blue ones. So you can use a marker or you can use a crayon. Okay, that choice is up to you. Okay, I'm going to use a marker and I've selected a primrose. Okay, so you'll take your time. And if there's a step that you're still working on, you will have time to work on it. Remember to leave the white glare so that it's shown. If you want to combine markers and colored pencils, you can. And hit me with a little thumbs up if you've ever had a balloon art made for you before. Maybe it was a flower or maybe it was a dog. Okay, you can find your reaction button on your uh, computer there. And then just give me a little thumbs up. Maybe it was a flower or a ring or something fun if you've ever had. And then we'll share some of the ones that you guys have had in okay, the past. They're fun. I think we've had a spider. Do you remember what we had before? Oh, they had swords. These two boys had a sword uh, before. You remember that? Yeah. Yeah, and then they fought, and then they ended up popping too. So, But they were a lot of fun to play with while the balloon art. It's a fun... All right, and then we'll go here, and then once you're about done coloring, I'm going to show you how we can cut it out and put it on a fun little tube, and then you can have fun with it, and your little sculpture can be uh, sort of running around or playing with you as well. So I'm going to get ready to show you that step, and then go ahead and make sure that you take your time because... You will still have time during our song of the day today to, uh, to uh, color, and you'll have time to finish during that time there, okay? So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to cut, and what I like to do is I like to just cut and leave a little edge going right around my balloon. So I'm going to leave a little white edge, and I'm just going to go around and cut 
around it. So if you would like to leave, it's like a little border right around the dog here. And then we're avoiding cutting on the lines and the colors. Okay, because sometimes our markers might be a little wet. And if they're wet, sometimes it might rip or it might tear if you are cutting after you color, okay? So I'm just gonna give a little border going right around the black. All right, and then right around up to there. All right, so I've left that little white edge right there, all right? And then what we're gonna do next is if you'd like to, if your dog's big or small, it depends on the size of your dog, um, you can roll a piece of paper. So let's see, my dog's about that size. So I'm gonna take this paper and I bled through it from drawing. So I'll use this as my tube, okay? You need to cut it out. Yeah, you're okay, it's up to you. If you wanna leave it on the paper, you wanna hold it up real quick, Chase? Okay, if you want to leave it on the paper, you can leave it on the paper um, or you can cut it out and add it. That's totally up to you. If you want to make, maybe you want to make like a background and put some grass or something inside of the picture, you can do that. Okay, and then we roll that piece of paper. And then the best thing is to put the glue on the back of the dog's um, ears, head, down to the front of its paws. And... We're gonna put that there, and then we will put the tube right on top, okay? Good. So then that way you have a little kind of holder just to kind of hold it on your own if you'd like to. So uh, these were our J, and they are balloon dogs that were inspired, maybe make a big one and a small one. They were inspired by famous contemporary artist, Jeff Koons. Okay, and that was our letter J today. So the artwork that we looked at today was inspired by Mr. Jeffrey okay, Coons. Okay, and we don't wanna finish without our Pokemon pick of the day. Now, today we have something a little different because it's actually in a box. Yep, let's do our hold up. There we go, he added a name tag to his. You wanna hold it up, Gavin? All right, so they added some fun little name tags to theirs. Yours kind of looks like a pit bull or like a, one of those dogs that are a big. Okay, so, yeah. So our Pokemon pick of the day is a box that uh, Chase will be opening up later on his Pokemon channel. So he will share the J Pokemon today, and it's a big one. Okay, it's a big box. Go ahead and hold it up for us. The Jirachi box. Oh, there we go. So our... J Pokemon pick of the day today is Jirachi, okay? And there is a number of uh, cards in there that he'll be viewing today, um, but we'll be opening them up tonight on his Pokemon channel. So we hope you had fun today, and uh, thank you for doing our uh, dogs with us today, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye.